game was off, Tony. Again. Yeah, well, look, I got other things on my mind today. Oh, yes, he does. Oh, guys, Tony here has met a new woman the other day. You mean you're giving up on Elaine? Oh, no, this one's even better. Wait, Tony, don't tell us. Let me guess. You shared a revolving door with Uma Thurman. <laughs> See you later, Chris. Okay, I can be good, man. Funny, guys. No, this time, Tony here has managed to get a date with a lesbian. You mean a real one? As opposed to an animated one? No, I mean, in, in the sense that, you know, she's not some go-go dancer or porn star who acts gay for men. Oh, no, this is a real lesbian. I don't think she dances. Does she dance, Tony? Oh, wow. I never met a real-life lesbian before. Plenty of make-believe ones, but never a real one. Yes, you have. I don't think so. You remember my cousin Angela? Remember her? I have a shrine in my bedroom devoted to her. She's gay. Get, Get the fuck out of here. here. Why'd you never said anything? You never asked. No one asks, unless told otherwise. One just assumes. Don't assume. How old is she been gay? She says all her life, but who knows? I remember her being really into some of my friends growing up, but she told me later she was only faking, trying to fool us. She sure not fool me. Mark, why do you do that? What? Stop trying to act black whenever you're around me or anybody else that's African American. You never do that. Just did it the second one. Bullshit, what did I say? You said show up. What's so black about that? Oh, nothing, Mark. I'm sure every Saturday when your grandmother comes home from the temple, she says, yo, that rabbi was showing up kicking it this morning. Is she serious? Is she losing her mind? Yes and no. Well, who is he? Do we know him? No, it's some guy she met online buying tickets. I just found out myself. Oh, I can't believe well, this. Well, what should we do? I think we need to be supportive right now. I think she's afraid that we're not going to like her because of this. She's scared. Of course she's scared. My God, she thinks she's like a man. Up. I'm sure it's not going to lead to anything. Exactly. But until it ends, we need to be supportive and show her that we're behind no, her. No, we cannot take that chance. Look, we, we can all make sure she doesn't go through with this. We will, we'll, we'll, we'll confront her. We'll, an intervention. We'll lock her in here if we have to. Joe. But she cannot go through with this. Joe, what are you getting so worked up over? Oh, you forget. Oh, Jesus. how quickly you all forget. What? What men are like. What are you talking about? You're crazy. That's what Denise said. Oh, God, Wasn't not it? this again. Yeah. This again. Who's Denise? Huh, she's an old friend of ours. Yeah, he were here as old. She wanted to know what was so wrong with men too, right, Hal? Mm -hmm. First she started hanging out with him. First his friends. But then slowly that evil started to work work through to her, especially this one guy, Trent. Yo. He's so funny, she used to say. God, they started hanging out with each other more and more. She even started to bring him to our parties. Can you believe that? Before anyone knew it, but me, she moved in with him and had his kid. A boy. I told you all then, but you didn't listen to me. I'm not going to lose Rose the same way. You sound like men are all devils or something. Yeah, well, you ask Ms. Bobbitt about men. Oh, jeez. Anthony does not seem like the Bobbitt type. No. Okay? But I am going on Rose's first date with him, so if it'll make you feel any better, I'll bring along a knife just in case this guy steps out of line. Black! You're going? With, on the date? Yes, to the Prince concert. The three of you. No, uh, he's bringing along a friend of his. I think his name is Chris. A2, Veronica? Oh, please, <laughs> Joe, come on. I mean, what does it really matter? Anyway? Yes, exactly. Look, I still say we need to talk some sense into her. She is not thinking straight. If we, if we just explain to her what a huge mistake she's no, making... No, Joe, you don't say a damn thing to her, okay? Like I said, she's scared. To tell you the honest truth, I'm kind of jealous. Jealous? Yeah, I mean, he seems nice. I haven't gone out with anybody nice and God knows when. You haven't gone out with anyone, period. Oh, that's it, Joe. Get personal. I don't even care, you know? But I do care about Rose. So if you can't be supportive, just keep your mouth shut. Oh, come on, Tony. Now you can talk to us. See, we'll help you out. <laughs> that's right, Chris. I'll be okay on my own, thanks. You think we don't know how to date a lesbian? There's no one way to date a lesbian. See, that's where you go making mistake number one, thinking that way. See, the very fact that you agree with Mark here worries the hell out of me. Don't be so fast there, Aunt. You should hear us out. Do you have much of a choice? Not as far as I can see it. Now, why don't you just bear with us for a minute? Now, don't you agree, Tony, that there's a certain way that you should date straight women? No, of course not. That's the most... Oh, come on now, buddy. You have to admit that maybe there aren't exact rules to follow, but there are certainly guidelines. You guys are crazy. Okay. Uh, let's say you're dating a straight girl. It's your first anniversary. Do you get her a gift? Of course I Bingo. do. Bingo. But that has nothing to do with well, anything. Well, what if you don't get her anything? 
Well, she'll be mad. But it's your anniversary. You have a right to celebrate. If that was up to you, would you need to celebrate? Well, no, but I'm a guy. All right, here it is. Rule number one. When dating a straight girl, celebrate, and I mean celebrate, everything. When in doubt, get her a card. You guys are all full of shit. What, lesbians don't like cards? Exactly. What? They don't. Will you use your head? I mean, how many Hallmark cards have you seen with two women on them? Well, none, actually. But look, I'm sure somewhere there are cards marketed to gays. Nope. Plus, most cards have flowers and shit. Oh, okay. Now lesbians don't like flowers? Big turn off. You're stupid. Okay, fine. Then you send her a nice, flowery hallmark. He hesitates. <laughs> Boys, I think he's ready to listen to reason. What makes you such an expert on lesbians all of a sudden? I watch Ricky Lake. All the time. Well, my, my boss told me not to disclose my gayness. I just told him it was not worth it. And he works at the law center. And that's all I know about him. Well, he sounds great. I can't wait to meet him. What about you, Hal? Well, I have to admit, he does sound nice. But are you sure you want to do this? Damn it, Hallie. I thought we said... Look, wait, I'm being supportive. I just have a few concerns, that's all. Well, you're not the one who's dating him. Rose is. Thank you. See? I told you this was all going to happen. Oh, what's happening, Joan? We're all each other's throats. Oh, please. I can hardly say that we're at each other's debt, Rose. Is exactly what's happening. And it's because of that... That man. <sighs> what? What? You heard me. It's that man's negative energy. He is bringing us all down. I personally don't know how much longer I can stay. I don't need anything screwing with my positive energy. Oh, get off it, Joe. You're the most negative person I've ever met, male or female. Oh, no, come on. Well, I don't know how fair that is. You're saying I'm negative. Uh, well, sort of, yeah. <sighs> if you think I'm negative now, you should have seen me when I was dating men. Suicidal. Well, no, 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 Joe. You said yourself your entire life was screwed up. Yeah, because of men. They were everywhere in my life. Men, men, men. I mean, but look at me now. Sunshine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're a joy to be around. All right, can we just drop it? Okay? okay. No. It's Rose's life. No, we can't. I want to... Joe, what is it about me dating Anthony that bothers you so much? Look, I have nothing against this guy personally, but he's a guy. So? So, you're a lesbian. So? Don't you get it? Lesbian, man, man, lesbian, they don't go together. Oh, Jesus Christ, Joe. She's got a date with a man, not another species. Close enough. Look, I just don't want you to get hurt, that's all. And men do a lot of hurting. And women don't? Compared to men? We are not no. comparing. OK, Rose, just relax, OK? Look, we don't care about you. We just have different ways of showing it. Like, I'm sure that Veronica has exactly the same concerns as Joe. It's just that Joe is more obnoxious. Oh, oh thanks for sticking up for me. I'm so glad you're in my corner. Uh, my girlfriend, everyone. That's not what I meant. Like hell you guys were all concerned for me. We are. Yeah. We are. Oh, right. Where was all your concern when I was living with Renee? Huh? Is that what this is about, Renee? Rose, she was a jerk. She had problems. I mean, you cannot blame all women just because she mistreated you. That is not why I want to date Anthony. I just want to know where all your concern was when she started screwing other women. When she started to beat me, where was all this concern then, huh? I mean, Joe, how come you weren't screaming about negative energy? Because she was a woman. <sighs> because she was a woman. You know, if some man had done that to me, you guys would be ready to lynch him. But Renee was a woman, so none of you said shit. So as far as I'm concerned, you guys don't have any right to say shit now. 